This is Dinosaur Provincial Park. Researchers come here from all over the world to exploit one of the richest deposits of dinosaur bones ever discovered. We're heading out to a remote dig site to speak with Dr. <laughs> Phil Curry <laughs> about his latest discovery. Yeah, with the wrong lighting, you couldn't even see this road, That's hey? True. Dig sites can be remote and hard to find. We got lost on the way and had to ask for directions. <laughs> and ran across a herd of cattle. But we might eat you someday. Careful don't hog too much because I think you have food. <laughs> By the time we found the dig site, Dr. Curry and his crew were already there, preparing to extract the dinosaur skeleton. I'm Phil Curry, the dinosaur paleontologist at the University of Alberta. And uh, I'm working here today with my crew of students, technicians, and volunteers to take this dinosaur out. This uh, specimen was found earlier in the summer, but we didn't have time to complete the excavation because we had uh, other responsibilities in other parts of the province. Uh, so now we're back to finish the job. It's been capped on top with plaster and burlap, but we have to undercut it and turn the whole thing over before we can take it out. Uh, it's a very nice specimen because it's um, a complete skull and a partial skeleton of Styracosaurus. Styracosaurus is one of the horned dinosaurs distantly related to Triceratops. And uh, the specimen um, is in kind of a difficult situation because the rock underneath it is very, very soft. So we're having to use specialized techniques for taking it out. Ceratops, you know, horned dinosaurs are going through a renaissance in research right now. And Dinosaur Park is one of the best places in the world to see this kind of dinosaur. And we're actually uh, looking at um, something that approaches evolution in these dinosaurs. Uh, Styracosaurus is really at the heart of the problems associated with understanding this transition from animals like Centrosaurus into animals like Styracosaurus to other animals like Pachyrhinosaurus. How, how can you recap a career where you've never actually matured and, and grown out of it? A lot of people think that I just never grew up. I dug my first dinosaur uh, when I was six years old. And I dug it out of a box of Rice Krispies. <laughs> and uh, basically it was a little plastic uh, giveaway that um, Rice Krispies was doing at the time. And when I saw it, I just got so excited about uh, the idea of prehistoric animals that looked uh, rather strange, kind of like nightmares. And uh, I, I never really strayed from my interest in dinosaurs. Um, I can't eat Rice Krispies anymore though because I made my parents buy so many boxes of Rice Krispies so I could get the whole set of dinosaurs. And I never got my Tyrannosaurus Rex. In fact, um, I didn't get the T-Rex until I finally came and worked in Alberta and had to collect two of them. <laughs> the best place to study fossils and dinosaurs is Alberta, of all places. And uh, Phil Curry, which is one of the best paleontologists in the world, if not the best, um, happens to be here too. So I it was a very big dream come true to be able to be his student and hopefully I'll follow in his steps and get some really interesting research done here. So that's, that's pretty much a good motivation to come all the way from Brazil to a place that to many people might sound like a strange choice because it's so cold up here, but there's lots of wonderful things to make up for the weather, so I'm not going to complain about this, though no, I actually quite like it. 